Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put wax on our pot in two different places. You can see that when the lid goes on this pot that um, if I had glaze on either side, when the glaze heats up, it's gonna stick the lid on and you won't be able to get it off, okay? Um, in ceramics, you want to fire the lid on the container um, if at all possible, because if you don't, you can have the wall like warp, which would mean it, it would bow out or it would bow in. And so by keeping the lid on, when it's in the kiln, it locks everything together and it makes sure that the, the wall isn't gonna warp, okay? So it's gonna stay tight and stay true to the shape that you had. So what we're gonna use for this is um, wax resist. And this is wax that will remain um, liquid even if there's no heat. Okay, so like the wax that we use for the bottom of the pot is paraffin, it's just candle wax. And so um, you have to apply heat for it to be liquid to put on the bottom of the pot. But it's really drippy. This stuff is nice because it's not gonna drip off your paintbrush. I have stained it with a little bit of iron oxide so you can see it, but we need to paint the top of the container, okay? So all the way around, and you can probably barely see that. If you get any of this wax anywhere else, you won't have glaze there, okay? No matter how much you try to scratch it, um, scrape it, take a sponge, try and wash it, it is not going to come off. The only way that it's gonna come off is by putting it in the kiln and burning it off. Okay? And that takes time. So you've gotta be careful. We're gonna go all the way around so you can see this. It's important that you get even those little corners. Sometimes that is what sticks. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. You don't need very much if it's there um, even if it was a very light brushing of it, um, it doesn't have to be real thick. It's going to um, take and repel the glaze when you glaze this. Okay, so that one's good. Now the bottom of this, or the top of this is a little bit different. You've got to at least, let me show you where. We've got a wax. Um, the side of this and so I'm gonna go ahead and just mark inside here so you can see we've got to do the top of this right here just like we did before okay and then you've got to do this inside wall you can kind of see it better there maybe can you see it there mm so bold on mine paint the rest of the inside this is going to take a while to dry and so we're going to do this today and glaze tomorrow okay and we're just going to keep them on our tables and let them dry and then put the lids back on they won't stick you'll still be able to pull them apart Okay, so I've got like the inside of this, and if you wanted to see this closer, I could show you after. And then we want to do the top of all these. So this is just getting it ready. Again, this is how most ceramic stuff is done. It's just something you haven't noticed, and so this is something we're learning right now. Okay, so that's good enough. I've got all those places. I'm gonna let this dry. You can kind of see where it's tinted um, right there. And so there are brushes up here and there are containers that you can share at your table. There's not enough for everybody to have one, um, but there's enough for you to share with a partner to get that glazed. Um, there are brushes in there. These, once they're used with wax, um, you can't really use them with anything else. But you can take them to the sink and rinse them under hot water, and it's going to loosen up the bristles. And so there are brushes up here. Um, so make sure that when you're done with this, the brushes go back into that wax container 
um, and the little cups of wax go back into that container so we keep all that stuff separate.